Ian Gary called out Shavkat Rachmanov, and Shavkat responded. Ian said, December 2024, undefeated versus undefeated. Let's make it happen. On X, Shavkat replied saying 100% finish rate versus 53% finish rate. It won't even be close if it happens. Alexander Volkanovsky on his YouTube channel gives his prediction for Leon Edwards versus Bilal Muhammad. Volk thinks that Leon may get the finish this time around. So it's going to be a good fight. Leon Edwards, I'm going to go with Leon Edwards. What's he paying? $1.40. $1.40, hot favorite. Then what's $2. Bilal? $2.70. Yeah, so yeah, he's uh, definitely a favorite. He's uh, rock solid. You've seen his uh, wrestling defense. You've seen his grappling. So he's actually very well-rounded. Everyone's always thought he was a striker. Um, but he's uh, very well rounded. You've seen uh, uh, he was able to take uh, Colby down. He was uh, even controlling Colby, but uh, Endelsman is taking him down as well. So it just shows you how good uh, Leon Edwards is. And his striking's beautiful, uh, very calculated, doesn't take any unnecessary risk, as well as I was saying with like Arnold Allen. He's one of those fighters. Um, but so is Bilal Muhammad. Bilal Muhammad, you know, a lot of people give him a hard time because. You know, they're going to say that, you know, he's a boring fights all the time and whatnot. He's very calculated, doesn't take unnecessary risks. He will only attack when the shots are there, when they're safe. The thing is, I feel like Leon Edwards, I thought he was quite aggressive with uh, in their first fight. And I think we're going to see that again. I feel like Leon Edwards is going to feel that he can be a bit more aggressive with someone like Bilal. You know, Bilal ain't going to be looking for big knockouts. He might be looking for clinches. He will look for shots, obviously. I don't think uh, Leon's going to be uh, too afraid of that, so I think he's going to let his hands go, which is going to make him a lot more dangerous. Because uh, when he does let his hands go, he's, uh, man, he's good. Leon Edwards is really good. Uh, you see him even just watching his training and that, um, like hitting pads and that. You can see this power in his kicks, you can see this power in his uh, very, very tidy striking. Can Leon Edwards get the finish? I think he, he, I think he can. I uh, will just go Leon Edwards for the win. TKO uh, or KO, I definitely can see. I guarantee you Leon Edwards is going to open up a lot more than he usually does. I think he's going to be firing a bit more, taking a lot more risk. Here's the full FaceTime conversation between Jake Paul and Alex Bejeda last night. Hey, hey. Hey, let's run it. Let's go, man. Let's go, my brother. Hey, will Dana let you out? Will Dana let you out? Yes. We'll talk to him. We'll talk to him. Tell Dana. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Mike Tyson posted this to X last night after Jake Paul defeated Mike Perry. He wrote, Countdown begins. 118 days, 16 weeks and 6 days, 17 weekends, 2,832 hours, 169,000 minutes, 10 million seconds. Clock starts now. Tyson also posted this video. <laughs> After Jake Paul defeated Mike Perry last night, Conor McGregor told Mike he was fired from BKFC. He wrote, hey Mike, you're released, and you can go compete in your silly, smelly, dirty boxing championship thing. The smell of it. Good luck. You're fired. Jake reacted to this at the post-fight press conference. Jake also discusses his call out of Alex Pajeda. I love this sport, and you know, he's tweeted about wanting to go into boxing. We got him on the FaceTime right there in the ring. And I said, yo, can you get out of your contract? If he can get out of his contract, then let's run it. And so when I asked him that, he had a pause. He like looked at his manager. You know, these guys aren't their own bosses. So I want all the smoke. But at the end of the day, will Dana let him out? That's too big of a risk if I could embarrass his number one praised fighter right now. But I want all the smoke. I want all the MMA guys. And I've beaten all of them. Who's next? He's the king right now of the UFC. So I want him. I'm going to decapitate him and dethrone him. Hey, that's f***ed up that you fired the, your BKFC champion, but the face of BKFC. I, I told you that was going to happen. You, you know, I told you exactly what was going to happen. He, he was big upping his boy, Mike Perry. I said, okay, Connor, like after I f*** up Mike Perry, then you're next. So Connor's on Twitter all the time. He's on his yacht all the time, but guess where he's not? In the ring fighting me so he can talk all the f*** he wants, but the notorious MMA is scared of Jake Joseph Paul from Disney Channel. And I put that on my mama. Here's how Mike Perry reacted to Conor McGregor telling him he was fired. Mike says that he's a part owner of BKFC as well, so Conor can't fire him. He doesn't 
have a promotion because me and him are both owners of BKFC, so you can't fire me. Uh, we can fight in the bare knuckle. Look at me. I'm, I, you know, I lost to Jake Paul. Why don't you go fight Jake Paul in boxing with the gloves on? I think it would be worse than Conor, or Conor McGregor versus Mayweather. Rodriguez Duplessis responds to the notion that when you win a UFC title, you lose some of your hunger to continue fighting. Rodriguez says the opposite. It's actually made his whole team start working even harder. Rodriguez said it's been great. It's been everything that I expected, everything that I'd hoped for, and better. And training-wise, once I got that belt, I got a fire under me. A lot of people might think that once you win that belt, you lose some of that hunger. I always said it. Becoming UFC champion is not my end goal. Not at all. There's a new hunger. There's that championship hunger because now I'm defending my throne and I'll do anything to defend that throne. In training, the team, everybody stepped it up because now they're going up against the world champion. Everybody wants to land a shot on the world champion. If you can give the world champ a hard time, you're not far off from getting that big shot. My team's amazing. The coaches, everybody stepped it up. Everybody realized we are now world champions and we should behave as such when it comes to training, recovering, just another level. Sean Strickland fired back at Hamzad Chamaev. Recently, Hamzad had this to say about Sean. Он сперва сказал, что на спарринге меня побил. Ну, там ребята были, все видели. И даже это видео там есть, как я его душил и бил. И с ним тоже есть такое дело. Sean fired back saying, I'm glad he found time to speak this bullshit. I thought he was too busy running crypto scams and hiding from warlords. LMAL. Conor McGregor went off on Terrence McKinney last night. Terrence responded to Conor's post firing Mike Perry from BKFC. Terrence said, of all people, you're mad that he went and boxed to get a big payday? Come on, brother. You should understand. You did the same thing. Maybe BKFC should pay more if you want to keep the talent in-house. I don't know, but this ain't it, brother. You're better than this. Conor replied, hey there, no nothing bum, whoever the f you are. This was not a big payday whatsoever. BKFC pay way more. This was a personal decision of a dumb ass. He had written into his contract he could have one fight outside of the organization. This was what he wanted. And that's going to wrap it up for the news. Thanks for watching. For daily MMA news and content, subscribe to Full Mount MMA and click the bell icon to be notified when we post videos. Here are the three top comments from last video. The first one's from Harley Mon. Says, Mike disappointed me. The second one's from Dr. Smegma Jones. Says, Jake was 230 plus in there. He can fight at heavyweight. Perry is a little brawler with no boxing. And the final one's from Outdoor Adventure 231. It says, leave Alex Bejeda out of this. Those were the three top comments from last video. If you want to be featured in the next one, all you have to do is comment down below. And if you missed yesterday's news, click the video on screen right now to get caught up.